Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia, and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is the Young and the Restless edition. All right, guys, today is Monday, December the 26th, 2022. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to jump right into it. On a scale of 1 to 10, this episode was really solid to me. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Um, excuse me. Let's jump right into this. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas Merry Christmas um, to you guys. I hope it was great for you. And um, let's go into the last week of this year. We see Sharon and Chance. I'm not going to hold you long on these two because honestly, it is what it is. She's um, He came over to help with the packing up, you know, the packages, but Mariah, Tessa, no, they already took care of that earlier. So he said, oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm late. And she said, no. Um, then he said, well, I can help you clean up. So they're cleaning up. And then they start reminiscing about Ray. They start talking about him seeing Dominic on Christmas Eve, how hard it's been, you know. Um, and they're just sitting down talking, reminiscing. She said it's the first, she and Ray only had one Christmas together. She thinks she's staying so busy because it's her first Christmas without him, even though they only had one, only had one together as a married couple. And so they, they're just laying the grounds for these two to be together. Let's move on. Excuse me. So then we see, um, Nate, Elena and Abby, because Abby has Dominic and she's coming to see Devon, right? So Elena and, um, Nate are going back into the house. They said it was a beautiful day. So, you know, it was snow. And so they just wanted to go outside and enjoy and stretch their leg, stretch their legs. They're wishing each other a Merry Christmas. And then they said, Oh, will you be with chance later? And, uh, I'm, Abby lets them know she and Chance are getting divorced. And they're like, oh, wow. And so then Devon comes out and he was like, hey, I thought I heard you out here. And so Abby was like, I'll talk to y'all later. So then Devon and Abby talk and she says, um, you know, Dominic is, Dominic is worn out because, you know, Devon and Lil, uh, Auntie Lily had so many presents and everything for him. So he's sleep, right? So that gives Abby and Devon time to talk. And he says, um, you know, he, they just start on this conversation of Nate because she says, I think daddy, Dominic's daddy has missed out on the meaning of this day, like being with family. And he says, Nate is just looking for a reason to try to um, make himself feel better about his guilt of what he's done and to throw it in my face of what, what happened to Amanda. It's not his business. We're not family like that. He betrayed us. And that is what it is. Like, even if he could throw it in my face about what happened to Amanda. It's not the same. I said, you're right about that, Devon. It is not the same. And so then we go to Elena and Devon and they are, um, excuse me, Elena and Nate, and they're talking and Nate is like, I wonder what happened with Abby. And she said, that's not our business. It doesn't matter what happened. And then he says, but he's been, um, trying to tell me about how horrible I was because of what I did. And even Elena had to tell Nate, Nate, it's not the same thing. Like you're just trying to make yourself feel better about the guilt that, you know, about the guilt that you're holding for what you try to do to your family. And she said, listen, on top of that, um, excuse me, on top of that, you're going down the same path you were on. You have a great job that you love. I'm back in your life. I said, you better say it like you the prize, Elena. She said, I'm back in your life. The whole reason I left is because you were doing this. Stop trying to put make someone feel bad about something. Stop trying to put the blame on someone and just be family. Try, you know, cause that's not going to help you trying to do this to make yourself feel better. That's not going to help this whole situation. So then Abby, um, texts Elena and said, let's meet for drinks. She, and Elena is like, does no, <clears throat> excuse me, Devon. No, she said, no, but I'm going to talk to him. And so they all are talking to their men and telling them go meet for drinks. And then the next thing we see, they're all having drinks and it's awkward. And so the ladies are trying to, you know, build a conversation. So they start talking about Dominic and the Christmas pictures and how, you know, he was so excited for Santa. But when he got up there to take a picture, he did not want to take that picture, child. And so then that made Nate and Devon start reminiscing about uh, Drew, Drusilla and Olivia and how they were, how they always made them dress alike as kids. And it, they had like a little, <clears throat> excuse me about that. My mic dropped. They had a little warm moment between the two. God darn it. My nephew was here and he was a little under the weather and I think he is starting to rub it off on me. See, that's why I don't like being around kids. <laughs> but anyways, child. So uh, it was a nice warm moment. So then we go over here to Ashley, Tracy, and Jack. And they're talking about, you know, how Abby's, you know, seems like she's brave and she's stronger than she thinks going through the, you know, the whole thing with um, 
chance the divorce and jack clearly is not listening to them but you know or whatever and i said dang jack it's not always about you and your kids i'm sorry it's not we listen to him go on and on about kyle and i and and everybody pays attention and now ashley talking about abby and he is not paying attention at all to it and so then um they're just like whatever and so Ashley tells him, "You do you know where Diane, where where Kyle is when he's coming back?" She don't believe his whole story that they lied and told about they going on some sleigh, um, Santa Claus adventure. She don't believe it, and it, it, it's not plausible. Um. So then, anyways, Tucker comes. Tucker comes over, right? And he has gifts for them. And they were like, "You didn't have to do that." I said, "Well, he did." But they were like, "Oh gosh!" And so then he tells Ashley, "Um, he, you know, because Jack says if you were looking at me to see Dominic, um, you missed him." And he says, "Oh no, I'm seeing him later at the Vons." He was like, "Actually, I have the afternoon free until then, and I was wanting to know could I take you to lunch?" And Ashley said, "We ain't doing nothing here. Let's go." <laughs> Ashley said, I'm not gonna be sitting up here bored with y'all. I'm gonna go eat. So they go to society, but it's not open. So Ashley and Dominic go to society. I'm sorry, and it's not open. So they have to do their own thing. And she says, I have a key. So they, you know, chop it up or whatever. And then um he tells her again about running a business. And she's like, uh-uh, I don't know about all that. But he he's Tucker is trying, y'all. He is trying to get her um to run the business. Now, at that time, we see um Tracy, and she does give reprimand Jack a little bit by like, you threw that shot at Ashley, and now it's just us here. <laughs> it's just us here. She said the house is empty, Diane is gone, you no, know, and that changed things. And she was like, and Jack was like, I know that was meant for me. And I promise, you know, I'm going to try to get, you know, he's going to try to do better and make it right. But anyway, so then Ashley goes home. Tucker takes Ashley home. And um, she he tells her, I want to, they're still talking about this business he wants to give her. And she's like, well, I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to do it because I'm not leaving Jabot, but it's nice to be wanted. And then she gives him a smack on the lips, right? And Jack sees it, and when she comes in, she says, I'm assuming you saw that. He says, you just keep making mistakes. You are not her dad. And she's like, oh, Jackie, why won't you ever learn to trust me? Like, Jack, get on my nerves with this. Now, you do everything you want to do with Diane, defend Diane, do all that you want to do, even though Ashley is trying to say something. But they, both of y'all stay out of each other's business. That's what, that's what you do. The, Ashley, don't you tell Jack about Diane. And Jack, don't you tell Ashley about Tucker. Let it go. So anyways, we go over here with them. And they're building snowmans and stuff. And, and they go outside because uh, Harrison wants to build a snowman. So Kyle takes him. And while they're gone, Summer reads Diane the riot. She tells her, don't you ever tell my husband not to keep a secret to keep a secret from me and she said and don't ever put him in the um position where he has to choose between you and me and diane was like oh okay because summer is like i'm going against my own mother to support you because i to so i can support um kyle and harrison but i'm protective of them so don't think that you like you could just come through and be with all the you know trying to put a wedge between us and diane understood where she was coming from so then jack calls kyle and he tells them you know when you come home and i said well the way kyle talking he has no plans on coming home anytime today um but anyways they um they decide where is Allie here where Allie go but anyways they decide to go ahead and um he goes ahead and tells him that he offered Jeremy Stark the money half and he going to give him the other half, but he don't know if he going to take it or not. So then Summer um, and Kyle talk, right? Because Summer and Kyle talk and he tells her the update about he doesn't think Jeremy Stark is leaving. So then Diane comes in and she talking about... Ah, when Jeremy first came to town, I was afraid, but now I know I have to get rid of him. I said, uh-uh, now all of a sudden you're not afraid now that Jack and gave the man some money? Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't trust Diane. Uh, no, I do not trust Diane at all. 
now all of a sudden you're not afraid but you jeremy on got money from um jack now and now you're not afraid child please anyways that was the young and the restless guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel i will be going live on friday um the last live of the year um seven seven eastern six central four on the west coast if i change the times because i might do it a little bit earlier i will definitely let you know thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day goodbye